Here is an example of solving some fraction problems with positive and negative numbers. So in this first problem, we have two fractions. They have opposite signs. You don't really need two signs, so I would simply write it as this. Which may clarify things a little bit. You also need common denominators since you're adding and subtracting. So this is 10 sixth minus 7 sixth. Now they have the same denominator, 10 minus 7, negative 3 sixth. That is the value, but it's not simplified yet. So I would write negative 1 half. If you simplify anytime you have double signs, that's going to make things easier for you. And then you just follow the rules of adding and subtracting fractions. Now on this one, we have a double sign as well, but it's a negative negative. Well, the opposite of a negative is positive. So we have negative 5 eighths plus 4 thirds. Well, now we're going to need a common denominator again. The most obvious one would be 24. So we have negative 15 20 fourths plus 32 20 fourths because 3 times 5 is 15, 8 times 4 is 32. Well, now we have a negative 15 and a positive 34 20 fourths. We know there's more positives. How many more? Well, 19. So we have 19 20 fourths. That is as simplified as it can get. And that is your solution. Hopefully that helps.